create more rallies. But these shoes that the players wear now eat up the grass. around that court. His footwork is awesome. I mean, he's just, he is like a ballet dancer. British. Not quite as smooth out there. That's what Mary was talking about, those nubs on the bottom of the sneakers. You know, get a little bit more grip, but they're going to beat up the court. It was bored the first. The ball's a little bit, slightly heavier than it was, say, my time. But, you know, I have a deal with the uh, Dunlop Rackets, and... Dunlop and Slasher were owned by the same group of people, and That's they, you know, he claims, I don't think he has any reason to lie, that uh, the ball's weight has been the same for the past 10 years. Now, I know that you hear these stories about, you know, Todd Woodbridge, you know, all the doubles titles, and each ball he had to look a little heavier, and Tim Henman. Henman complains right. bitterly about them being heavy. Well, he shouldn't have left that. You know, if you're there in position to hit it, and you've got a pretty easy volley, that's a makeable volley. That's your fault, team. That shows to me a little bit of lack of confidence. Because you've got to go after that. I mean, Burdich is a big guy. Now he's down. Oh, that actually <laughs> Better sir. quarters. He's got pace. Oh. Oh. Just hung on the net for what appeared to be eternity there. Fetters <laughs> apologizing to even the crowd. And he gets lucky too. Hadn't had the breakthrough win yet, named Roger Federer. Sampras is going for so much stress in his body and in the way he, he hits his strokes. Compare how re relaxed Federer is when he plays. And just so loose, so free swinging, and he, he's not fighting his body parts. No, just, he doesn't fight the court, he doesn't fight the ball, his body, look at this. I mean, it, it's, it's an incredible combination of relaxation and explosion. to assure the people watching it's not this easy yeah. he keeps his balance so well there and he did he did get the match point Fabrice he, he looks like he's got that look like he's had 14 aces as well 21 unreturned yeah, serves and add one more to that total on set point two quick sets to the champ If Burdich doesn't look to be serving as hard, he looks like he wants to be, you know, put him out of his misery. Federer is the type of guy that can do that. So. He was already he, up boy, a break he, in his first set. Yeah, he'd love to play Nadal that on, on this surface. Go for Federer, the grass. Red has been meant stop. Love 15. Red clay of from Paris has been Nadal's. Those two actually do have a chance to meet here next Sunday. No, 
now his chance to break. Yeah, so there it is. So just what Federer wants. And now he'll hope to put a quick end to this. Well, it leads five games to four. And beyond the quarters. quarters. It's probably better if he played Iraqi at Labazzi <laughs> this second round. <laughs> Yeah. So there in just one hour and 23 minutes, quick, decisive, surgical. By Roger Federer, and he is through to the quarterfinals. His opponent still to be determined. We'll join you once again here from the All England Club tomorrow with coverage of the ladies' quarterfinals. We'll be with you at 10 a.m. in all time zones on NBC. And don't forget Wimbledon tonight, presented by Travelers, 11:35 Eastern and Pacific tonight. Now for Mary Carillo, John McEnroe, Jimmy Roberts, and Bud Collins. I'm Ted Robinson. Thanks for joining us in the championships Wimbledon.